In honor of the happiest days of our family because of her presence, I still miss you, Camille. GG. GG. Who is GG? Just making sure there's nothing down this hallway. Nope. Um, hmm. In celebration of Lady Sarasani, the queen of high society and a sponsor of the arts. All right, you know what? I've had enough of that mask. <laughs> I'm I'm through with looking like a pretty lady. I'm good for now, thanks. And I think I'm gonna go back to the hotel really quickly for a sec, just because I have so much ergo stacked up. 25k, probably actually a pretty penny this time. Plus, the golden fruit tree needs picking. Thank you. Give me all your fruits. Alright. I guess we can stack up on them from time to time and all that. The cube. I should probably put the cube back on my hotbar somewhere, I guess. Barely use anything. Recovery. Wait, since we're here anyway... Can we switch the cube stuff? Buy more cubes? Something like that? Stalker, please. Switch it to temporarily and restores Legion? So maybe this is like if we buy more of it, we can stack up on pulse cells, is kind of what it sounds like. We'll just buy like a whole bunch of it. Up to five. Up to five? Up to five because I have 15 golden fruit. Guess maybe I'll buy like that for now? Sure. Alright. Why am I heavy, by the way? Why am I so heavy? 70%? Oh, the flamberge is heavy. Is that- Oh, I, I took off the amulet. I put the increased damage inflicted on puppets. So maybe I need this back. That's still 62. Dang it. I'm just gonna have that for now, then. That's fine. So, what? The cube means- how come it's still only one? Didn't I get more than one? Of the wish stone? Wait, didn't I get more than one just now? What? Hold up, what did I buy? Stalker, please. I just bought a whole bunch of this stuff, didn't I? Didn't I? How come I only see that I have one here? Oh, a mountain storage, too. Oh, I can only have one in my bag. I can't have more than one. What? What's the point, then? So it's like an extra healing? Uh, I guess I'll try it out sometime. I, I'm, I'm kind of still... Question marks. All question marks about it. But whatever. It's fine. We're doing fine. Just gonna... Maybe before we distribute the Ergo on stats, let's check out some Legion Arm stuff. You can craft a Legion Arm with a Legion Arm plug. Craft. Yes. Deus Ex Machina. Physical attack. Motion sensing landmine. That's cool. Pandemonium. Acidic. That could be interesting. But does it... <laughs> does it also corrode me if I stand in it? I only have one Legion plug. So I gotta be careful about how I... which one I make. Armor piercing shells from a distance. Aegis. Block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deal... I kinda wanna try this one. This one sounds really interesting. 
blocking means that damage is being dealt. Now, these don't come by easy, these legion plugs. Give it a go. Modify. Guard attack. Can make weapon attacks while guarding. What? Isn't that kind of crazy? Legion caliber. Okay. Better be good, I just spent some stuff on it. <laughs> At least it's motivity B. It's good for me. I think it's kind of heavy though. 74%. Gotta be careful. Let's try this out. Aegis. Oh, <laughs> too far. Oh, I gotta lock on. Wait, I can't move the camera when it's locked. What? Hit me! Oh, because usually I'm blocking with a sword. Hold on, hold on. No, no, I can't pa Wait, I'll just do this. <gasps> Interesting. Do I take damage for this? I don't- wait, I don't? I don't take damage? No, maybe I'm just not taking damage because we're in training right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. But can you perfect parry with that? The timing might be a little bit different. Not because it's different in the game, but because L1 and R- I mean, L1 and L2 are different kinds of buttons. So I gotta adjust my timing for that. <laughs> the timing of how I press down the buttons. Because usually I'm pressing down the same kind of- Yeah, I can do the sword parry reliably, I think. Reliably enough. But then the Aegis... A little bit different. And also, yeah, the animation seems to be a bit different. No, but this one, I think all we need to do is guard. Oh. And I can attack while guarding, too. This seems like a game changer. Let's try it out. Hmm. Anything I can do here? I know my way around a weapon. Dark Moon, Moonstone of the Covenant. I don't have enough for um another upgrade yet. I'm good with those for now. Alter handle. Hmm. Well, I can buy a motivity crank. At the house of an Yeah, I think we should just... Let's do it. Let's do it. I like the sword. It's very slow, but it's working out for me. And again, I do feel like the slowness encourages me to be more meticulous and strategic. The faster something is, the more moves I can make. Which means uh, more room for error. Bigger margin for error. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure if you can always say it like that, but that's how it's working out in my mind. Oh, unable to alter any further, or I can't anymore. <laughs> That's okay. I mean... Yeah, I have enough, but they won't let me... They won't let me do it anymore. Okay. Well... That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room... It looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Okay. I'll use my power to help. Can I just do some level ups first? Keep increasing vitality. Now we got a pretty penny here. Mm hmm. Let's see how, how this goes first. Damn, three levels, 17k already. Vitality, motivity. I'm a fan of pushing my my damage up higher and higher. I think I'm a fan of that. But I also want to be mindful of my capacity. 72%. It is getting slowly but surely it's going up higher and higher and higher. Hmm. 
It does increase my defense a little bit, marginally. Okay. I should go to Geppetto's room? What do you have for me, father? Well, it's uh, the portrait, right? I brought you that portrait. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I still can't investigate it? <laughs> what is that? I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be the, the lengthy nose for lying, but damn, that's... <laughs> Father, did you put... Did you put a, a coat hanger rack thingy on this? Or like, what is... Have you have you been looking at that, Dad? Ah. I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? Yeah. I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. What is it? I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists he was eccentric he claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul but how can that happen just like the fairy tale forgive a foolish man his ramblings perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along i know you're curious so see for yourself i have my work to keep me busy Everyone seems to be extraordinarily chill with a, a phallic object just sticking out of a painting. Apparently nobody here did it. It just happened. The city ask me any. All right, all right. Finally, a king. A of king puppets, of puppets. Yes, yes. I have a quartz, don't I? I believe so. I have two quartz. Okay. Yeah, one for defeating the, the mad clown and all that. Hmm. I can only do item type or ability type. Let's see. Quick wish stone use. Charge fable when reviving naturally. Recovers. Lowers weapon durability consumption when weight increases. Interesting. Legion con Lowers legion consumption in a crisis. Stamina consumption when discharged. Stamina consumption from dashing. Charge legion when eliminating enemy. Fable cap. Reduced item prices could be good. Increases max gold coin fruit. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go for this one now. More ergo. More leveling up. Thank you. And then if we want to move to phase 4, we do have to keep doing more phase 3 stuff. But I'm looking at stuff like, what about amulet slots? Do I want that? Belt slots? I don't really care about belt slots, to be honest. I... I care more about an amulet slot more. But at the same time, activating phase 4, phase 5, it's more important that we go to the next phases. Because it might give us new pulse cells, which is probably the number one most important thing. I really don't care about the time. Okay, of these ones, I guess... Cube uses? I guess that's, uh, you know, that's an important thing... ...too. Between, between cube and belt slots, belt slots I already, I already have a fair number of, but cube uses, we only have one right now, so I, uh, sure. Sure. Charge, stagger, attack. Yeah, th that could be good too. Perfect guard destruction. I feel like I have a little bit better idea of what I want now. Stagger duration. I keep missing them. I keep missing them, especially with a slower weapon. Let's do something more. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Let's... Condensed Legion Arm Attack. Enhances Legion Arm Attack when more than half of the Legion remains. Let's go... Very simple. Uh, okay, I will increase the Stagger Duration then. Should I? I'd rather increase the, the Stagger Attack. Okay. 
Are we allowed to investigate the painting now? What can't I use? What even is it? There's a little... There's a little, like, spoon-like thing coming out of it at the very end. I have no idea what I'm looking at. How are you doing, kitty? Oh! <gasps> what? Oh my god! Oh! What got into you? That's bizarre. <gasps> I'm happy, though. I guess this might be related to the amount of times I'm lying. Maybe the more I, I lie, <laughs> the, the longer that'll get. But what'll happen at the end of that? I don't know. Anyway, I think we're ready. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I think I'm ready to go back and check out whatever's at the Grand Exhibition. Anybody awaiting me? The Aegis has an icon above the L2. I'm not sure what that icon means yet. We'll figure it out as we go along. Hmm. Estella Opera House in Krat. Adelina Corday. Yup, yup. Stunning lady in the red dress. Am I allowed to go through the front door? weirdly pristine inside. Before we go in, I want to check out the staircases. Oh. Okay. There was another one on that side. Can I go in here? No. We're going to where the actual performance is taking place, I guess. Hey. Typical. I think we have a guest with us already. When I'm holding the Aegis, it automatically takes consumption, or it's, it's already being consumed, as long as I'm holding it out. And then using the attack. That was pretty cool though. Someone tried to attack me, they just died. Alright, never mind, people died in here as well. The hell is that? Puppetry business. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't even. Disruption! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What is disruption? And where did you come from? The puppet strings. I was distracted by this person. They're just dropping from the sky. Something is moving them. They're not moving on their own right now. They're being controlled. Is that what disruption is? Are we gonna be seeing some spiders soon? I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many. 
Oh, full disruption. Nearly full disruption. That's not a good thing. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Oh, damn you. Why didn't you come around the corner? Because it knew I was trying to cheese them. That's why. Whoa, this isn't working out. That is not working out. Wait, how come the way I disintegrated instead of falling down? That was weird. That's different, isn't it? Different from the normal thing? What is this eruption? Disruption occurs when disruption damage builds up. Oh, thank you. That's so helpful. <laughs> oh, when the disruption damage gauge fills up, your character will die. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, um, interesting. And then that little spider lady does the disruption. It does a disruption blast. That makes us die pretty much right away. That means we gotta be really careful. It's worse than just damage. We just immediately die. I have a bad feeling this sword might be bad here. <laughs> it's, the, it's the whole corridors being too narrow business again. Yeah, we need that. By the way, I wanna test out how... How are my pulse cells doing now? Because I increased the recovery for them. More than half. It does more than half. This means we have to wait a little bit now, because if we don't, we will die. Or alternatively, we don't have to wait. We could just use a purification thing, but I'm a little bit too cheap for that. Just gonna wait a sec here. Maybe I'll go a different way. Check out what's happening here. The other spider. Expecting more people to drop from the sky. Die! Shoot. I nearly died just now. Did you see? The disruption meter was like... It was one one more pixel away from filling. That's not good. That means I really have to have my hand on the purification modules. I say as I continue to let the disruption just sit here. <laughs> That's singing. We can't be near it when it's singing. Should we invest in some throwing stuff then? You come in. You come over here. You had way too many lackeys earlier. You want to just come over by yourself? This isn't even about health anymore. It's about not letting the disruption meter fill. Good, good, good. Come here. Come here. Oh, this is fantastic. Should have done this before. Oh, what? No. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing, man? We gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, the purification module did nothing because I think we need the special one. The golden kind? Is that the one we need? Oh, I need to let this run out first. Hold up. You're just gonna kill me? No! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, I just... Wow! We're really not talking about health anymore. Oh my goodness, okay. Wrong thing. Disruption. 
It's this one. If we can take this... Oh, we can see the amount we have in the storage. We don't have that many, though. We really don't. Wow, this is gonna be... crazy annoying, I think. As soon as I finish using these, they're gonna be gone. Aren't they? Oh, I don't feel good. I feel faint. I don't know if it's gonna be possible for us to kill that spider before it finishes singing. Not with our current damage output, I don't think. So this lady actually doesn't have any puppet strings. Weirdly enough. That's a lot of spider ladies. Every hit. Only the ones out of puppet strings give us disruption? Well, they all kind of do. I'm caring a little bit less about health right now because it's not my <laughs> it's not my main problem. Okay, it'll still help if you walk over here. Walk a little closer. All right, jerkwad. Oh, it did it so fast. Was it even singing? Does it do anything besides sing? It looks like singing is its only technique. Oh man, I can't believe getting past this part took so damn long. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this while the spider is alone. I'm gonna get this one too. While I still have the electricity. But yeah, it's not possible for me to... It's not filling up as fast this time because I took the resistance. That's why. And I don't know how long the resistance lasts for. Oh man, I don't have very many of those though. We've been stacking- I haven't used a single one of the orange potions the entire time. So we've only gotten four or five or six the entire time up until now. Does anybody sell it? This person doesn't- yeah, this one doesn't have puppet strings. Maybe some appropriate usage of throwing cells, stuff like that, would be good too. It's quiet. Blood. Is it because we're getting close to the heart of the madness? The madness of the king, the king of puppets. And the, the frenzy. Someone's, someone's walking around. Someone with very heavy footsteps. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, I think I will. What the hell? At least it's only shock, it's not... I'm still being uncareful. Oh, perfect! Perfect strike. It was jumping on me and then I got that stagger.
We still have to be on guard though because those puppets literally drop from the sky. Just because we don't see anybody right now doesn't mean there's nobody around. There's been a massacre here. Exploding pickaxe blade and handle. Large blunt. The blade of a workshop laborer puppet's mining tool. An explosive device has been added to the blade to break up the hard rock in the ergo mines. Why am I using laborer puppets that cost so much money, you ask? Because we can't have humans explode. From a conversation with a workshop laborer puppet supervisor. Mm. The handle is sturdy and heavy since it's a tool for puppets and not humans. No one remembers the number of laborer puppets that died in the explosion. No one besides the puppets, that is. See, this is implying that there's sentience, right? But then we look at the frenzy and... It doesn't seem like it's a full level of sentience at the same time. Motivity B. Something we could try out. Explosion. Flame strike for Fable Arts. Conserve energy. I'm in a very unknown area right now, though. I think I want to um, be a little cautious. Do we want to check out that... Weird. Mm. I'll look around here. No one's gonna come get me. For legendary actress Adelina Corday, even those who envied her reputation loved her songs. Damn it. Where are we now? Whoa. Oh my god, that's a that's a boss. Already? Look around. This is the beginning. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, because we're right next to the Stargazer here, and then we just run straight to the boss. Okay, but there's still more to look around here first. Disruption! My god. I can't handle this. At least with these guys, they still attack me. I can get them like that, but <laughs> that one just starts singing. Oh! Oh yeah, okay, I, I don't think... I don't think I will. You know what? What a shame. What a damn shame. We can't see it. We can't talk to it. It's really just too bad, you know? Oh well. What about that weird dungeon area? These people... People who work at the Opera House? By the way, I haven't been checking the doors at all. I'm just assuming they can't be opened. Well, this is the streets! Oh. This is below the boss room. Technique amulet. Technique plus four. There are innumerable stalker skills and techniques, yet the puppet who equipped the amulet, imprinted with every single combat method, took them another leap forward. I'm good. This is below the boss place. It actually doesn't seem like we can reach the other side though, the other spider side. Well, I'm okay with that. Not a problem with me at all. And make sure. It's kind of daytime right now. We still have the lights on and all. This is taxpayers' money you're wasting. Goodness. 
Oh, but there's something we can get there. So we must be able to reach that spider. Somehow, somewhere. Right? We have to be able to get there. Wait, could we have looped around? No, no, there's a there's a breakage here. How the heck do we get over there? I don't see stairs. Oh. Maybe you're not meant to be able to That doesn't make any sense though. Oh. Okay. We couldn't reach the hallway. It doesn't mean we can't reach the spider. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Who even made this kind of spider? What's the... I mean, this kind of puppet. It's not pleasant to look at. It's not good. Oh. The symbol on that chest is kind of creepy. Belfer Disruption Cartridge. Oh, that would be useful, but <gasps> what if the boss does disruption? That would be crazy. I think I would die. Belfer Disruption Cartridge. Physical damage reduction goes down by one. Break resistance goes down, but nothing has been breaking me. It has an additive that alleviates status ailments. It would be good for the spiders that we just finished defeating. <laughs> so there's no point in having it now, it kind of feels like. What the hell is this? You trying to kill me while I'm getting to the boss? sister said you were dead. <gasps> oh, who are you? You're not a puppet. Are you here to listen to my music? I can't sing anymore. This petrification disease took away my songs. Riddles. I was fooled by him. He said this place was a shelter. Riddles. Patricia, I'm so sorry. Riddles? Like the guy that phones us on the phone booth? Oh, Patricia, I'm so sorry. I'm parched. Just a taste of fruit. That apple that we bought a while ago? Not like I have any use for it, I guess. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the sweetest apple I've ever had. I can't stop death from taking me, but I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Patricia, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it, then even if I have to break you, Adelina Corday must have it all. I know it's wrong, but still, I love you. <laughs> You're saying you did something to your sister? It's the white lady, right? You both sang before. The mask briefly mentioned that. 
The girl who lost her golden voice became a stalker instead of an opera singer. When we first met her, there was a puppet. That puppet that was in the middle of the stage, and there was a sword through the mouth of the puppet. Maybe signifying that she can't sing anymore. <sighs> it said that day was a tragic accident for all sisters, but it's not. You did something. You had something to do with it. I know it's wrong. Oh, wow. Giving her an apple made her confess her sins. But you're just gonna stay here. Well, whatever you like, I suppose. I wanna go down. Well, before we try the boss stuff, should we go back and heal up? Seems like a good plan to me. Oh! It'll be a straight walk here next time. So it should be easier, theoretically, and all that. We'll still have to fight maybe one or two puppets along the way, but I want to check out... the bottom level... first. We know there's something down there. Can I just jump down? Is it stupid to just jump down? Probably. Dim ergo fragment. And then down there. Do you mind if I just... On purpose? Oh! Trinity door! Yeah, they just mentioned the Riddler guy. Oh, this... This will loop back to the hallway. We're seeing... Pretty sure we're seeing one of those big people again. Where are they? Go around this side first. Can I- I'm back on full alert because there could be- oh? Yeah, disruption stuff here. This is the other side. Good. What are you doing in here? Wow. Sneaky. Oh! Wait. Hey, that person didn't have strings and then they got strings later. Yeah, just like this person, just now. Who's doing that? King of puppets? Oh. It's not inherent. Someone... Someone is doing that. Or they're somehow becoming like that. Incredible Vanini Collection. Expand Paul Chinella's shop. Okay. Maybe I'll go back and check it out. Uh, it's gonna be stuff like motivity cranks and whatnot, I think. Oh, hi! Wanna come down first? Shock. This is a heavy hitter. Very heavy hitter. Oof. 
What happens if I get full shock? I might not know. Okay, well this is perfect. We finish looking around here, we go back. And then we take a look at the boss. Is it gonna be the King of Puppets? They were kind of propping up Adelina Corday. I expected that she would be the boss or something, but... Okay, wait, hold on. I don't have time for talking here. Gotta deal with bull crap. Come one at a time. Whoa! So fast. I just have to do this part once and then I'll never come back here again. Because this hallway is blocked off normally. My Aegis is done. Chill. Hide disruption. Just want to make sure it goes back to below half. That's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I would prefer to chill. Ooh. All right, all right. You coming down? Ooh, disruption is annoying. I don't like it. I have to worry about something other than my health. This is blocked off. It'll always be blocked off. That's fine. Ooh. Notes from an experiment. The test subject's body is better than expected. Its ergo coordination, physical sensitivity, and modification adaptability figures all exceed expectations. Couldn't ask for better results. All that's left is to make a decision. I won't be able to undo my crime. I don't regret it. I've come too far for regret. I'm ready to become a god or a devil. I just hope that the owner of the body finds peace through this revenge. Perhaps this prayer is a remnant of my last bit of humanity. Yeah, I definitely think the petrification disease- Whoa! Oh. Someone's down there. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy. And then the alchemists... ...experimenting. Oh, that was silly. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo! That's I just want to get the freaking butterfly. Okay, forget about the butterfly. You're suddenly so... Yeah, of course. That was such a bad spot to get the butterfly. We'll have... Ugh. I need you to get a little bit closer. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I see, I see. Thinking about how this place wraps around. Okay, that's not bad then. Maybe I can get the butterfly from this end? Yikes. It's an opera house. Okay, I think we cleared the whole thing once, aside from the boss. Again, didn't see a Trinity key. I guess we'll just have to keep a lookout for where the next phone booth might be. This 
also really annoying. Yeah, I like the constant shooting. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh! I think it might be better to activate them with some throwing stuff and then try to get it that way. Lure them out of that place first because otherwise it's really easy to die. Puppet strength. Let's see. It doesn't activate. Maybe I should just turn off my lamp for the time being, you know? Turn off my damn lamp so the stupid butterfly doesn't get to activate. I swear to god. Oh no! I just used one of those special ampoules! Resistance! I only have so many of them! Technique crank, thank you. Are we happy now? Damn it! At least the disruption seems to be gone, but... Ah, what a waste. What a waste. We might need it for the boss, you never know. Okay! Time to try it out? I guess so. I'll keep the Aegis. It's interesting. Can I just run through? Be careful not to run out of stamina and all that. Yeah, okay, so, um... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't believe I was so stupid before that I was getting all those dudes. Every single time I ran back to the boss for the scrapped watchman. <laughs> She's not coming. Alright, let's see what this is about. Am I ready? Guess I'll have that as well. I haven't even- I should probably try that outside of <laughs> a boss fight first. Oh my god, that's me! Or is it... Geppetto's son? Why am I special anyway? I don't seem to be frenzied. But why? Am I not affected? <gasps> oh, hold up. This is me. This one's me! That was the real son. I presume you're the king of puppets? Pinocchio! Manners! Oh, come on, we didn't have to fight this guy. He was totally happy to see me, a fellow puppet. Now I pissed him off. Why on earth did I do that? Stage of grief. I can barely hit him. He doesn't hit very hard, though. If we 
I mean, we can block it. It's okay. We don't have to dodge. But he keeps moving away. It's kind of hard. I don't have the reach. I don't have the reach. Oh, there's a second stage for this one, isn't there? I can kind of tell by how fast the HP is draining. <laughs> What the hell was that? If the Aegis is done, can I use it at all? Can I still use it to block? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ergo? Okay, I gotta block first. Oh! Oh! Oh, I died! No, I'm pretty sure this one has multiple phases. I had pulse cells left. He's slow. I, I have to see a little bit more first. Spin, and then parry. He does a big spin before he actually strikes me. Spin. Boom! Okay, two. Sometimes he does two, if he feels like it. And then two like that as well. I want to use the Aegis to parry, but it, I need to use the sword to parry. Alright, that's pretty good. It's too far, I couldn't get the stagger in. Wasn't it? Okay. I get too excited whenever I see that stagger window. I just want to get it in, but I miss it so often because I never get the... The right chance. Whoa! Whoa! How am I supposed to get away from that? Just kind of tank through it with the Fable Arts a little bit. Oh! Being closer to him might be better for that Fury attack. There was a little portion- oh my god, I don't know how to dodge this one. There must be a trick to that. I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, but honestly, his normal attacks don't hit that much. The actual damage that gets taken by me... Oh yeah, I can... I can't tell... Sometimes he does one attack, and then sometimes he does two. I can't tell which is which yet. Ah! Alright, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oh 
my god. Wait, are you the actual puppet? Oh! Oh! Oh, so this phase two is gonna be completely different then. It's gonna be against a smaller creature. Maybe we'll need faster reaction time. Nice weapon. You look cool. Romeo! This is not good. Okay, I need to use the Aegis for what it's... Oh! I, oh, I didn't really get to try it that time. Yeah, I just barely made it to the second phase. Don't jump away. I need to get you after the parry. Stop it! Oh! Okay, we can just sort of... Hmm, stick around him here. Not going further away. Maybe staying close is the key. I need you to take out the freaking Aegis. I'm, I'm trying to press it right now, but you're not giving me... Whoa. This buddy's got a moveset. Oh! Shiz. Whoa, lots of free hits in there, but I... I'm not learning, I'm not learning, I'm just... blindly... I can guard while I attack, by the way. Ooh, he's a hard hitter. Get the stagger in. Hold on, hold on. Ooh! Very impressive. He starts getting amnesia once in a while or something. Oh! I don't know if I have time to use that wish stone. Okay, <laughs> that was my first time that I tried to use it. Didn't have time. Hmm. Alright, alright. I think we just need to practice that second stage a little bit more. It's hard though, because we have to make it past the first stage reliably, plus with a lot of pulse cells first, to be able to practice. Okay, I have this down pretty okay now. We need to finish this stage fast, so we have enough pulse cells for the next one. When he does a little twirly spin. Boom. I can sneak in a shot or he might jump away. But either way, I have enough time to block the second one. No matter what he does. Oh! 
Oh, we can get a few extra hits in if we, while he's staggered, we don't do the red circle part first, I guess. Come on, buddy. Oh, I can't do that twice in a row. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up. So fast. Oh, oh, the fire. I'm trying to see more of his attacks right now. I'm barely attacking him. Oh, that did nothing. I need to attack more. But I'm learning. What is that attack? Like he's... Dodging too fast on that one. Okay, that was my first time using it. What did it do? Like nothing? I'm just sort of kiting him around right now. I'm not really attacking him. I'm not dying though. Yet. I'm finding it helps to keep moving around. As opposed to standing still and waiting for him. Ah. Oh man, this was the amulet for King's Flame Ergo, which I already got the sword with. I was thinking, maybe I should get this, but I guess that's not gonna be possible anymore. I'm gonna try to get this one, Nameless One's Amulet. Extra pulse cells, easiest way to insur ensure our survival, right? Let's see if this helps. He doesn't like the electricity. Okay, for that fire attack, all we have to do is dodge. Whoa! Hey, stop, stop coming over! What do you want from me? There's a lot of... 
potential with the Aegis. But I gotta be aware of my stamina. I just figured out that little icon next to the Aegis means whether it explodes or not. I just figured it out now. Yeah, like that. I gotta stop trying to get cheap shots in on him. My Aegis is completely gone. Dodge away! Do- Do- Okay, I'm gonna try the electric coil again. Yeah, I've been switching back and forth a little bit between the sword and the coil. The sword, I feel like I have to be a much more deliberate player to be able to do well, because each shot really counts because it's very slow. Whereas the coil, I feel like it's easier for me to get cheap shots in. So I'm, I'm gonna try to go for that for now. It's kind of crazy how every time I go back to a boss, I start switching weapons and then... <laughs> it just feels really, really not the right kind of thing to be doing, but hey, you know, if it works, it works. Half Moonstone. Alright, I got a plus six on this now. Let's give it a go. The one thing that I've been learning slowly to do is when to do R2, when to do R1. Because we're really getting to the point where it matters. Every little bit extra damage we can do is starting to count. Here, I can get a... So at the end of this one, I think I can actually get in the R2. That was not a good example. Hold up. Like, R2 here. Do a little bit of extra damage and all that, right? Oh, I got really lucky here. Shouldn't have worked. Because he should have hit me with his little wind. And I should have been paying attention here. Alright. I can't block very well with this weapon. It's just not that good of a- I can't see, dude! Every time he finishes his row of attacks, that's our chance to attack. We really have to take advantage of it. Like now. Don't overheat me. Thinking we can do some... From time to time we can rely on the Aegis, but not too much, because it ruins my rhythm. Oh, I have no stamina. I ran out of 
Stand still for a second here. Oh! Mm hmm. Quit it! Mm, get closer, get closer! I need stamina. Bumped me into the the explosive stuff. You kidding me? Oh! All right. Bad move. Oh, that would that would have been a good punishing moment. That was a good one. Oh, I could have followed up on that one. I'm starting to find the spots where you can do attacks. Ah! I can't get it in. That was a bit of a fluke. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa! Oh! 
god! Oh, I forgot to heal! I forgot to heal! Ah, I still had it on the throwing cell. Ah, shh, that was close. Okay, we're getting closer. Ah, oh, I could have had that one if I threw all of my cells. That was gonna be my plan. Get near to the end and then start throwing cells. <laughs> I think we're getting closer though. You know what? Playing with the electric coil and then coming back to the greatsword actually made me a little bit better, I think. Yeah, because I started getting a better feel for when to punish him. After the chain of attacks, after he misses me, all that good stuff. I think we're getting close. I get him. Okay, do something that lets me get near you, please. Oh god, I missed it. Missed my timing. Yeah, I don't have time to do this anymore. I need stamina. Oh! 
Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Boom. Ba -ba 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 Boom. Burnt White King's Ergo. Someone's necklace. Incredible! You defeated the king! I gotta think the puppets will have changed too, right? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's go backstage. Assuming the king is why is why the puppets were going crazy and all that. Hmm. Yeah, this one I think just, uh, this is the longest. This one gave me the most trouble so far because I think the, the King of Puppets is really, really fast. And the fact that he's a second phase thing, it just made the whole practice aspect harder. I honestly feel like sometimes the frustration comes from, okay, I die, I gotta start at the Stargazer again, I gotta run past this thing again, and then I gotta, like, the setup part, instead of the whole practicing aspect. But this one, I feel like I was just waiting for a good break and then it worked out. Just, uh, being... having a better handle on R1, R2, when to do it, when to punish him. We're starting to get to the point- up until now! Up until now, I've been doing R1 almost exclusively, unless if there was a triggerable or a staggerable window. But this time, I felt like I had to really start to take advantage of, okay, this window, I can do more than just an R1, I can do an R2. Stamina management started to be a little bit more tight too, because this sword is just gigantic. Mm. Yeah, I switched back and forth between the electric coil and this sword, and I, I landed up back at this sword, after all. Because even despite upgrading the electric coil, I don't think it was doing that kind of output. Like, the, that, the damage just wasn't enough. It staggered people. Sure, it made him staggered faster, or it made him staggerable faster, but I still had to actually get him staggered. And you can see there, that was, um... Yeah, we got the Fable Art in, plus the, the Fatal Attack, and then suddenly that was a whole bunch of damage. And I didn't even have to use any throwing cells, which is kind of crazy. Still have an extra pulse cell to spare. Ain't that nice. Let's save this first. Okay, this one... Uh, but you know this... <laughs> this kind of boss practice thing? You know how we all play video games because it's fun, because it's a leisure, it's a pastime? Maybe a little bit less so for me because, you know, the whole content creation recording a playthrough thing. But... Practicing a boss? It's not the kind of thing that you can do when you're tired. <laughs> Sure, you can practice, but you'll just get worse and worse if you keep doing it more, so... Taking a break once in a while, resetting yourself, I think is... Those are probably important things to do, too. Now, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, at some point I was doing some weird combinations. I tried putting the electric coil head on the... The Great Sword of Fate handle. Didn't work well, though. Yeah, because... The electric coil, why it was good was that it's fast, but then that kind of made it slower and it just wasn't that great. Someone's necklace. A necklace once worn by the King of Puppets. It is engraved with the boy's scribblings. To Romeo, your friend, see. The boy resented his father for not showing any interest in him. Perhaps in protest, he gave his graduation necklace to Romeo, a friend he admired. If someone knows the Pinocchio story well, do they know what all these names mean? See? Hey, so, but if Romeo is wearing this, a boy and a father, it's not Geppetto, right? Geppetto's son? Geppetto's son? What's Geppetto's son's name? I thought it was M, but that could have been Manad. Oh god, I don't know, man. I just wonder if the King of Puppets became the king because someone gave him a necklace and he got these powers. How did he become a king? Do we know that? I don't think we do. Ergo. 
burnt white king. Whoa, 10k. Packed full of immense power, treasure hunter may want it. When the boy opened his eyes, he found himself sitting on a throne he had not asked for. Oh? When he sought his friend of the past, he clung to his memories even though he knew there was no going back. Wait. Are... are puppets becoming sentient because human souls are being transferred into the puppet? Because this guy's the king of puppets. And now it's saying when the boy opened his eyes, he found himself sitting on a throne he hadn't asked for. Like, the boy became the king? It's kind of a scary thought. Maybe let's not think about it too hard. Did we get a new outfit? Or anything? I don't think so. Oh, we did, we did. Puppet Prince's formal dress. Formal attire of the Puppet Prince. These clothes were worn by Red Actress Adelina Corday while playing the part of the Puppet Prince in a play. During the curtain call, it was revealed that Adelina, who played the role of the princess, had also played the role of the Puppet Prince. The moment she took off her mask, the audience rose to their feet and showered her with applause and cheers. Hmm. Now you're the Puppet Prince, my prince. The, oh, yes, by the way, the necklace I was using. <laughs> I started loading up a little bit on the throwing stuff. I still didn't use it, though. Hmm. Loading up, there's only three here. The Aegis... The Aegis is... I just sort of gave up on exploring it because I felt like trying to rely on it too much kind of messed with my rhythm. Hmm. Yeah, so I used it for the explosive shot, but not really for the, hey, you can attack while guarding aspect of it. The amulets I was using was the Nameless One's amulet. I'm not sure if it triggered during this fight. I wasn't- I didn't have time to pay attention. And also, stamina recovery. Just because my stamina was go it was just wasn't- it was going down so fast. Your eyes come to me Feel alright Just dance with me all oh. 